Army Transportation, the spearhead of Army transformation. The future of Army watercraft is all about speed, the ability to make an intra-theater move of all necessary assets, troops, equipment, leaders, to where they're needed in fewer than 96 hours. It's all about precision, the ability to move those assets intact, directly into the battle space and ready to fight, even in austere or degraded ports. And it's all about knowledge, the ability to communicate fully with whomever necessary and know exactly what has to be done and where to do it at the instant of arrival. An experimental support vessel that is demonstrating the future today is the HSV X1. The Army is testing this lightweight, high speed, shallow draft, 313 foot long aluminum catamaran. It is a modified commercial vessel capable of transporting 364 soldiers in a complete combat package at speeds up to 40 knots into waters as shallow as 15 feet. That compares extremely favorably to our current support vessels that move equipment only at 10 knots. The Army's future theater support vessels will complement strategic sea lift and intra-theater airlift by transporting equipment and personnel within a theater of operations. The TSV will have a cargo carrying capacity 20 times greater than that of the C-130. With this new TSV development program, we are testing a number of capabilities. The ability to move forces in theater with great speed. The ability to deploy with precision into the battle space. The ability to deliver cohesive, ready to fight fighting units. The ability to bypass bottlenecks and enter at multiple points and the ability to plan and rehearse combat operations even while in transit. To demonstrate the potential of this new capability, the test theater support vessel HSV X1 was paired with an element of a striker brigade combat team at the port of Wanimi, California. The operation effectively demonstrated how a force of the future can be surgically disengaged from a fight, loaded on the HSV and redeployed to another battle space. The HSV traveled 1,500 nautical miles to the port of Tacoma, Washington. Once at the pier, 14 striker armored vehicles, 25 tactical vehicles, and a contingent of soldiers and their weapons were offloaded in only 13 minutes. For the transforming army, the operation demonstrated the outstanding responsiveness and decisive maneuver capabilities that high-speed watercraft technology brings to the fight. When the HSV X-1 arrived in Tacoma, it delivered a cohesive combat effective force with all its equipment, supplies, and an intact chain of command. And it had done so in 41 hours. Had this been a real combat mission, the strikers would have hit the ground fully fueled, uploaded with ammunition, and ready to roll. This remarkable tactical responsiveness is possible because of the HSV X-1's amazing speed and maneuverability. Equally important is the vessel's large payload capacity and the capability for an intact combat force to embark and disembark efficiently without crane support in a completely roll-on, roll-off mode. Today, we conduct the experimental phase. We are evaluating the potential for the military use of existing commercial high-speed vessel technology. We are determining the extent of the modifications required to meet Army specifications and we will develop crew requirements and design their training. Tomorrow, when this technology and program are proven, the United States Army will possess the capability to rapidly relocate and mass assets at previously unavailable locations, subvert anti-access strategies, promulgate, modify and rehearse battle plans while en route to the battle, and deliver combat effective forces which have rehearsed en route and possess situational awareness as they roll off the ramp ready to fight. Speed, precision, and knowledge. The continued successes of the theater support vessel reveals that Army transportation is truly the spearhead of Army transformation.